For more on the electric car, I spoke to William Messner. He's a mechanical engineering professor at Tufts University. And we talked about how electric and hybrid vehicles help cut down on emissions. Well, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge thing. Um, it's two aspects. We've been fortunate in this country. Uh, actually, the number of miles driven have gone down. Uh, beyond that, you've got some better gas mileage. Now, on the, uh, you said, is the trend going to continue? It's a good question. I mean, there's, there are government regulations for sure, but the uh, fact that gas prices have dropped so dramatically means that people are kind of starting to buy bigger cars again. You probably even have noticed it when you, you know, drive around. And naturally, bigger cars don't get as good a gas mileage. Um, not too long ago, I think it was around, what, 10 or 12 years ago, we, they invented the hybrid vehicle where uh, they were able to regenerate electricity and that would be sort of part electric, part, I guess, combustion oriented. And we saw mileage per gallons reach up to 50, 60, 70 miles per gallon. I think Toyota and Honda both had different vehicles and that was supposed to be the, yeah. the wave of the future, right? Fast, yeah. Forward, yeah. To, fast forward to today, those numbers yeah. of production really haven't gone up as much as people thought they would. What, what happened? Well, uh, it's a few things. One is they're still pretty expensive. The batteries are more expensive. And because you've got an engine and an electric motor in the same vehicle, you're paying for basically two power plants at the same time. Um, the, the other thing is that uh, part of the reason those, those uh, numbers are so good is that, by and large, those are smaller cars. I mean, if you think about the Honda Insight, it is a small car. And now the Toyota cars have started to get a little bit bigger. So it's a combination of having a more efficient power plant and having a smaller car. Now, we've started to see some other kinds of cars, uh, bigger cars, have these uh, hybrid uh, power plants. And those get very good gas mileage. Excellent, you know, better than uh, the single... Uh, combustion engine, but they're not as good as the 50, 60 miles per gallon. They might be 40. I, I in particular, for example, have a vehicle which is a plug-in hybrid. It operates both as a plug-in and as a regular uh, hybrid when, you, when you've driven it so the battery's drained. It gets, you know, 40 miles per gallon. It's a big car. If you say hybrids yeah. are too, expensives, too expensive, aren't electric cars too expensive? Yes, they are. They still are. The batteries are very expensive. And uh, until some better battery technology comes along, they are probably still going to be too expensive. And right now, the economics don't work out very well because uh, it, there's, on the one side, the producers, they're losing money because they can't, uh, they can't uh, compete. They can't sell these cars unless they reduce the price below where they can make money. And the other aspect is the consumer. It's like, well, wait a minute, I'm paying $2 a gallon for gasoline. Why should I pay for this very expensive yeah. battery? I will never make up the amount of money that I save in gas right now. It, it's it, a problem. If, if COP21 could make a statement about vehicles, whether it's combustion or electric cars, what type of statement would you like them to see or would you like to see them say that you think would be beneficial not only to the environment but also beneficial to consumers? So I, I'm, a, I'm an engineer, I solve problems. And uh, the problem here is the emissions and so the way we should think about this in my opinion is in the, in the interim until better battery technology is, is uh, available, we should be concentrating on plug-in hybrids and hybrids. Those are the best bang for the buck, so to speak. And the governments should be providing subsidies for those vehicles, big subsidies. It's, a, it's honestly a big win if, if we think about something like Los Angeles or, um, or China. These vehicles are very clean especially in congested conditions so that you're not running the you're not running the uh, internal combustion you're not producing emissions you're just sitting there and uh, you're not using power